Welcome to Math in a Box with Susan Johnsey. In this lesson we will learn to find the midpoint of a line segment. The midpoint is midway between two points. If you'll look at the graph to the right you'll see that I have graphed point A whose coordinates are negative 2, 8 and I've also graphed the point B whose coordinates are negative 6, 5. If we wanted to guess, we could probably say that the point midway between these would be in this area. It would be around negative 4, positive 1. Now that just gives us a guess. We really want to find the exact answer and that's what I'm going to teach you to do. If I were to ask you to find the average of two of your test scores, I'm sure you would know how to do that. You would add the two scores and divide by two. And then if I asked you to find your friend's two uh, average for his two scores, then you would be able to do that in the same way. You would add his two scores and then divide by two. Finding the midpoint of a line segment um, that's defined by two points such as A and B here, we will do the same exact type steps. If you have a point, then you have an x and a y value. If you have two points, that means you have two x values and you have two y values. First consider the x coordinates of each point. Let's find the average of the x values. We have negative 2 and we have a negative 6 for our x values. Remember to find an average. You add these and divide by 2. Negative 2 plus a negative 6 is a negative 8. Divide that by 2 and we have negative 4. So the x coordinate for our midpoint is negative 4. And remember that is approximately what we thought it would be. Now let's find the average. for the y values. What are our y values? For the point A we have 8. For point B we have a negative 5. And remember we add these and divide by 2. Now I'm showing you all the work that you need to write. It is important that you learn to write this work. This will be what your teacher expects. Your teacher will also give you a formula and I will show you that in a moment. But I wanted you to see how midpoints are really finding the average. Finding the average of your x for each point, then find the average of the y. For as you can see, uh, my answer to this problem is point negative 4 and then 1.5 or 1 and a half. So I would have to pick a point that's midway between 1 and 2. x is negative 4 and y is a 1.5. That's approximately right here. Now we're not going to graph this one. It will actually go off my graphing paper. Well, graphing grid. I don't really have paper, do I? All right, let's find the x's. The average of your x's. Your x is 0 and 14. Now remember you add these 0 plus 14 divide it by 2. And I'm going to go ahead and make this look like a point. I'm going to put the comma between them and put the parentheses. You know in algebra classes and in geometry classes the way to write a point is to use parentheses and to separate the x coordinate and the y coordinate with a comma. Alright, now then our y values. We have a negative 9 for the y value in the first point and in the second point you will use the 6. You will add these and divide by 2. Now let's do the work. What is 14 plus 0? It's 14. Divide by 2. What's a negative 9 plus 6? That's a negative 3. So our midpoint is going to be the point 7 and negative 1 and a half or 1.5. That's the midpoint.
algebra class, you will be given a formula that will look like this. They will have x, and they'll put a little 1. It's not an exponent. It's a 1 that's a little bit lower. And x with a 2, and then a long fraction bar with a 2 underneath. Now that means division by 2. The x sub 1 plus the x sub 2 is telling you to add the x's, and that's what we did above. Then we write y sub 1, it's called sub 1 because it's actually called a subscript, plus y sub 2, or subscript 2, divided by 2. And close our parentheses because this is a point. This is the formula for a midpoint. If you are in Algebra 2, or perhaps in Honors Algebra, then you may want to watch the next example. Now, if you're just in Pre-Algebra or Algebra 1, then you may stop. And this example would be for an Honors student or an Algebra 2 student. In this problem, I'm going to uh, give you a point R as 7, 5, and I'm going to give you the midpoint. The midpoint is negative 2, 3. So my question is, find the other end point of the line segment. The end point B, and that's just a random name that I gave it, I'll give it also coordinates of X and Y. Now I don't know these coordinates, I want to find them. Of course you can look at the diagram over here, I have R and I have M. M is the midway between R and B. So you can probably guess that B is somewhere over in this area, perhaps off of our graphing grid, or it may be right there at the very end. Alright, now what are the steps that we used before to find the midpoint? We added the X coordinates for the two endpoints, the R and the B. Well that's 7 plus X, and then we divided by 2. Now that's the midpoint coordinate, it's X coordinate. So that would have to equal the negative 2 that I have written here. Alright, now for the Y coordinates, for R, the Y coordinate is the 5, and the y coordinate for b is y. We don't know it, we, so I just gave it an easy name of y. We divide that by 2 in order to find the midpoint. But we already know the midpoint. The y coordinate for the w midpoint is the 3. So this must equal 3. So we ha basically have two algebra equations to solve here. Sorry about my squeaky chair. I'm sure it, you can hear it que creaking every once in a while. 7 plus x divided by 2 equals negative 2. So that means that the 7 plus the x before it was divided by 2 would have to be what number? What would we have to put up here in this numerator in order to get a negative 2 for our answer over here? Negative 4 divided by 2 will give me the negative 2 that our answer is. So solve this now for x, or x equals negative 11. Now do the same type thing for the y coordinates. Uh, the answer here for the midpoint is 3, but remember that was after we halved the number. So that would have to mean that 5 plus y equals 6. 5 plus y times 1, and 2 times 3 is 6. So 5 plus y equals 6. Solving for y, I have to subtract 5 from both sides. So I'll have y is a 1. So the coordinates for b are negative 11, 1. This is our b. 
I hope that helps you today get through your lessons for uh, finding the midpoint. If you have questions, you can always find me at mathinabox.com. I answer email 350 days at least of the, out of the year. S. Johnson at mathinabox.com. Thank you.